Hi everyone, today we will talk about elevated CK, also called hyperscemia. We will briefly discuss about physiology, normal values of CK, definition, causes and approach to a patient with elevated CK level. Creatine kinase or CK is an enzyme that catalyzes the reversible phosphorylation of creatine to phosphocreatine and of ADP to ATP and as such it is important in regeneration of cellular ATP. It is found in skeletal muscles, heart muscle and brain and is released into the blood following damage to the muscle tissue resulting in elevated CK level. CK is a dimeric molecule and is composed of M and B subunits. The two subunits can form three isoenzyme CKMM found mostly in skeletal muscles, CKMB found mostly in heart muscle, CKBB found mostly in brain tissue. Routine measurement of CK activity measure all three isoenzyme that is total CK. CK reference ranges are varied with different assays and reference temperature and are dependent on age, sex, race, muscle mass, and physical activity. How do you define elevated CK? There is no universally agreed single definition of hyperscemia. European Federation of Neurological Societies define hyperscemia as a serum CK level more than 1.5 times the upper limit of normal for gender and race. What are the causes of elevated CK? People with Afro-Caribbean ethnicity and muscular build usually have elevated CK level. Recent exercise can increase CK level within 24 hours. Several endocrine disorder and electrolyte imbalances can lead to elevated CK level. Numerous drugs can cause muscle symptoms and elevated CK level. The most important are statin, fibrates, hydroxychloroquine, colchicine, intramuscular injection, and substance abuse. Several muscular and neuromuscular disorders such as inflammatory myopathies, metabolic myopathies, genetic myopathies, and mitochondrial myopathies can lead to elevated CK level. There are numerous autoimmune diseases which can lead to elevated CK level and apart from that there are numerous non-muscular and non-neuromuscular causes of elevated CK. A particular importance is the macro CK which is an enzyme complex with a high molecular mass than that usually found in the serum. It is of two types macro CK type 1 in which CK is bound to IgG antibody complex and it is mostly associated with autoimmune diseases. Macro CK type 2 is mitochondrial CK in which CK is attached to an undetermined protein. It is mostly found in malignancies and hepatic diseases. With quantitative serum assays, macro CK is indistinguishable from normal CK and falsely elevate true CK level. CK electrophoresis is used to distinguish macro CK from the CK usually found in the serum. How to approach a patient with elevated CK level? Symptomatic patient with suspected myocardial infarction, rhabdomyolysis, grossly elevated CK or acute kidney injury should be referred to the medical unit without delay. There are no universally agreed standard guidelines for asymptomatic patient with elevated CK level. The European Federation of Neurological Society's recommendation are based on limited number of studies available and can be viewed as level C recommendation. How to approach a symptomatic patient with elevated CK level? Patient might present with symptoms and signs of myopathy or neuromuscular disease. In this patient, electromyography, neuroconduction studies, or muscle biopsy, MRI of the muscle group, or a combination of these tests 
is usually needed to investigate neuromuscular causes of elevated CK level. Genetic testing and directed workup is recommended in appropriate clinical context. How to approach asymptomatic patient with hyperscemia? Patient with asymptomatic hyperscemia are those who do not have any neuromuscular symptoms and signs. Post-symptomatic patient are those patients without any objective signs of muscle disease such as muscle weakness, atrophy, hypertrophy, or myotonia, but who have non-specific symptoms such as myalgia, undue fatigue exercise intolerance, cramps, and stiffness. Approach to hyperscemia in asymptomatic and posisymptomatic patients. Consider all non-neuromuscular causes and other non-myopathic causes of hyperscemia that might explain high CK level, including review the medication, substance abuse history, check metabolic panel and phosphate level, thyroid function test, parathyroid function test, and troponin level. Look for detectable and treatable causes of hyperscemia. Determine any family history of neuromuscular disease, hyperscemia, or malignant hyperthermia. Before embarking on Expensive investigation, it is advised to confirm hyperscemia by a repeat assay at least one month apart and avoid strenuous exercise for seven days prior to sampling. If hyperscemia is confirmed, then perform a nerve conduction studies and EMG. If EMG nerve conduction studies is showing neurogenic finding, then a directed workup is recommended. Muscle biopsy may be performed in a patient with hyperscemia if one or more applies. If the EMG is showing myopathic changes or non-specific changes, if serum cecum level is more than three times above normal, if the age of the patient is less than 25 years, patient with exercise-induced pain or exercise intolerance, women with CK level less than three times normal, but before doing a muscle biopsy, a DNA analysis on blood lymphocyte for Baker and Duchenne mutation should, is recommended. Let's make it simple with a flow chart. If a patient is having elevated CK level, consider all non-neuromuscular and non-myopathic causes of hyperscemia that might explain the high serum CK level. Repeat the sample at least one month apart. Consider checking macro CK and CK ISO enzyme. If the repeated CK level is still elevated, request EMG and nerve conduction studies. If EMG and nerve conduction studies are showing neurogenic finding, then directed workup is recommended. If EMG and nerve conduction studies are showing myopathic or non-specific changes, then a muscle biopsy is recommended. Muscle biopsy is also recommended if one of the following is present, CK more than three times above normal, patient age less than 25 years old, exercise induced pain or exercise intolerance, women with CK less than three times above normal. Thank you, Thank you for listening.